A Turkish court has sentenced more than 300 people to life in prison over the failed coup of July 2016. Almost 500 are facing charges, including a US-based cleric, Fethullah Gulen, who is being tried in his absence. He denies the allegations. The drugs company AstraZeneca has said its coronavirus vaccine being developed in conjunction with Oxford University may be subject to a further global trial. Several scientists have questioned the protection offered by this vaccine. In a statement, AstraZeneca said that there was strong merit in continuing to investigate dosage patterns. A trench is being dug around a rubbish dump in Sri Lanka to deter elephants from scavenging for food among plastic waste. The mammals regularly go to the landfill site, which is near a wildlife sanctuary in the eastern town of Ampara. Plastic from landfill sites is a known killer of wild elephants, of which there are around 7,500 in Sri Lanka. Ethiopian government troops are carrying out what's being described as the final operation against the rebel leadership in the country's northern Tigray province. The assault comes as a deadline set by Ethiopia for its regional opponents to surrender has passed. The Ethiopian government says it's also distributing aid to people displaced by the fighting. But reports say its troops have been seen stopping people attempting to find refuge in Sudan.